In this video, we'll take a look at the integration between Microsoft Azure Sentinel and ServiceNow Security Incident Response. The integration does a few key things. First, it allows for the discovery of Azure Sentinel incidents that are candidates for security incidents and then automates the creation of those incidents in Security Incident Response. It also allows for the mapping of Azure Sentinel incident and entity fields into ServiceNow Security Incident Response fields. You can also aggregate similar security incidents in Azure Sentinel to existing open security incidents in ServiceNow instead of creating duplicate security incidents. You can also set up scheduled ingestion of Azure Sentinel incidents to create ServiceNow security incidents periodically. You can also automatically update the incident status for security incident creation and closure, as well as map close codes between ServiceNow Security Incident Response and Azure Sentinel. And it also allows for the bi-directional synchronization of Azure Sentinel comments and Security Incident Response work nets. Here is an overview of the integration. You can see that when incidents are ingested by the Azure Sentinel Management API, we'll automatically then create them in ServiceNow Security Incident Response. With the Azure Sentinel integration, we allow for bi-directional updates, as I previously mentioned, such as incident closure, incident status change, and the synchronization of comments. With the Graph Security API integration, we only support alert updates for a few security providers. We recommend using the Azure Sentinel integration if your preliminary incident investigation is in Microsoft Azure Sentinel, and then subsequent investigation is done in ServiceNow Security Incident Response. Now, let's take a look at a video that shows a demonstration of how the integration works. Let's start looking at the integration between Microsoft Azure Sentinel and ServiceNow Security Incident Response on the Security Integrations page. Here, we can see the tile for Microsoft Azure Sentinel. We'll click Configure, and this is where you can add information about your specific Azure Sentinel instance. Once that's done, click Submit. Next, let's take a look at the Azure Sentinel Incident Profiles. Now, to create a new one, simply click the New button. But for the purposes of this video, let's take a look at an existing profile. Here, we'll give it a name and then choose the source. And this is what was done in the previous step and a brief description. Once that's done, click Continue or just click Mapping. Here is where we'll map the Azure Sentinel incident fields to ServiceNow Security Incident Response incident fields. To start, you will want to ingest either the default incident and entity fields or retrieve some recent Azure Sentinel incidents. We'll do the latter and then take a look at one of the sample incidents from Azure Sentinel. Here you can see the incident fields as well as the field values that were pulled in for this sample incident. To add this information, simply drag the pill across to one of the fields that you want to match it to. Now, let's go ahead and map a new field for ServiceNow Security Incident Response. And we'll click the plus sign and then choose the field we want to map from the dropdown. And then just grab the pill from the incident fields and drag it over to the field that we want to map it to. Now, we've mapped this field from Azure Sentinel into the alert sensor field on ServiceNow Security Incident Response. Once you're happy with this, go ahead and click Continue. Next, let's take a look at filtering and aggregation. This is how we're able to cut down on the number of security incidents when we're ingesting from Azure Sentinel. We do so in a few different ways. First is through filtering. In order to make sure that the security analysts are only seeing the security incidents that you want them to see, you can leverage the filtering conditions. In this example, we can see that we've already created a filtering condition based on the severity. So Azure Sentinel incidents that have a severity of high will generate new security incidents in ServiceNow Security Incident Response. We can also use additional logic 
using AND and OR to additionally filter the conditions in which a new security incident in ServiceNow will be generated. Additionally, we can use aggregation to automatically append Azure Sentinel incidents to existing ServiceNow security incidents. So for example, let's say we want to say that the incidents that have the following fields that match, activity due, observable, let's add a few new ones. Let's say source IP and destination IP. If all of these match on an Azure Sentinel incident to an existing ServiceNow security incident, it will automatically be appended to the existing ServiceNow incident. Once we're happy with the filtering and aggregation conditions that we've set up, we can click continue and move on to scheduling. You can schedule for ongoing ingestion and set the polling increment. You can also set a specific ingestion time for ingestion of Azure Sentinel incidents into ServiceNow Security Incident Response. Once that's done, we'll move on to the additional options. Firstly, you can automatically update the incidents in Azure Sentinel when a new ServiceNow security incident is created. Additionally, when a security incident is closed in ServiceNow, you can automatically append the Azure Sentinel incident with either the default incident classification and closing reason, or you can ensure that you're mapping the security incident response close codes to the classification reasons in Azure Sentinel exactly the way your organization want them to be mapped. Finally, you can synchronize the work notes between Azure Sentinel and security incident response. So when a new work note is posted in security incident response, for example, Azure Sentinel will automatically be updated as well. Conversely, when an Azure Sentinel incident is updated, the work notes in the security incident response incident will also automatically be updated. Once you're happy with these configurations, click finish and you've now created your Azure Sentinel incident profile. Now let's take a look at a security incident. This is a security incident that was generated from Azure Sentinel and we can see in the activities that the system automatically generated a note that said that this particular security incident was triggered from the Azure Sentinel incident ID, and it gives the ID right here. If we click on the link, it will automatically take us to the Azure Sentinel incident, and we can see that a note was appended to this incident showing that the security incident response incident was automatically generated, and it gives not only the number, but also a link directly back to the security incident we just looked at. And that was a brief look at the integration between ServiceNow Security Incident Response and Microsoft Azure Sentinel. If you'd like to learn more, please visit us at www.servicenow.com.